Father, this morning we come before you. We confess our sins, O oh Lord. Sin of commission and omission in the mighty name of Jesus. Our intentions, O oh God, are now right before you. We ask that, Lord, you forgive us every act of disobedience that we have committed, O oh Lord. We ask that, Lord, you cleanse us from all our transgressions. Oh, not even hearing or heeding to your word. But that we know that sometimes our actions does not, it's not in line with the scriptures. We come this morning with our open heart and we ask that you forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness so that our worship, our thanksgiving, Oh, will ascend into heaven. We thank you for the opportunity that you have given us. Each time we come into your presence, we have the ability to confess our sins. We thank you. And we confess that you alone has the power and authority to forgive us our sins. We thank you this morning. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. We want to continue to pray. That God will grant us grace so that we can forgive those who have, you know, offended us. Sometimes it's not easy. The offense physically or humanly is so great, it's damaging, that you as an individual, you can forgive. But when the grace of God comes in, your ability to forgive is easy. Hallelujah. And so we want to pray for ourselves this morning that God will grant us grace so we can forgive those who have offended us. Let's pray this morning. Father, this morning we are asking with all our heart that Lord grant us grace so we can forgive those who have offended us one way or the other. Father, if there is any resentment in our heart towards our family, towards our friends, our church members, Father, this morning we come to you in humility and we ask that you grant us the grace to forgive those who have offended us, those who have transgressed against us, O oh Lord. By ourselves, we cannot do it. With our strength, Father, we will fail. But we ask that you grant us grace, the ability and the understanding to forgive we thank you because we know that we have asked and it shall be given unto us. We thank you this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. We want to pray this morning and acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit. We cannot be here without the presence of God. There is nothing you and I can do this morning. The Lord has not enabled us. Hallelujah. So we want to pray that our coming here will not be in vain. But we will be transformed. Hallelujah. We will be spoken. Our heart will receive the word. The spoken word of God in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Holy Spirit of God, this morning we invite you into our midst. We ask that you have your way in our lives this morning. We ask that you open us up unto your word this morning. Father, let us not come here just as we came, but let there be transformation in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be manifestation of your power in our heart, in our spirit, and in our soul in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let it be unity amongst us in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible said that when the disciples were together with one accord, your presence came and gave them utterance. This morning, Lord, give us utterance as we are seated together. At the sound of our uh, your presence, Father, give us utterance, O oh Lord, and let us not come and go back the same. 
Holy Spirit of God, have your way in our lives this morning. Oh, the Bible said that you are the revealer of all truth. Reveal the truth unto us this morning. Reveal your very self unto us this morning. Oh, Lord, revive our heart, oh God. Join us together in the unity of your son, Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, this is what we ask that you do for us in Jesus' mighty name. We want to continue to pray this morning and, and commit our pastor into the hands of the mighty God that this morning he shall speak with authority and power clarity and understanding in the mighty name of Jesus that the word of God will find a place in each and every one of us our hearts in Jesus mighty name Father this morning we'll lift your servant whom you've prepared this morning into your hands oh God we ask that Lord you grant him the ability to speak oh with clarity and understanding in Jesus mighty name we ask the Lord the word that will provide Proceed out of his mouth. Father, it shall come to accomplish the purpose for which he has been sent this morning into our lives. We thank you for what you are about to do in our midst this morning. Lebro sekete yama brandi. Mandoria masokataya. Mandoria masokoto yama brandi. Oh, we give you praise, Lord. We know that you are here. That is why we have come. Masondoria Makataya. Oh, yes, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Most blessed, most glorious, the ancients of days, almighty. Victorious, thy great name we praise. Most blessed, most glorious. Six twenty-six. He said, "He will give us a new heart." This morning, I want you to pray that God will give you a new heart, a heart that is responsive to Him, a heart that is able to receive His word. Hallelujah! So that you will bear fruit, so that we will bear fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray that God will give us a new heart. Ma sokataya ma brandi.
Mandoria masokataya. The Bible said that the heart is desperately wicked. So there must be a way for us to receive a new heart when we come unto him. Father, this morning we are asking that you give us a heart of flesh, a new heart, a heart that is able to receive your word, a heart that is able to use your word, also that we can bear fruit in hundreds and in thousands, Lord. May we not go back the same way we came in this this morning but let there be transformation let there be revival in our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus revive our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus Masokataya mabrande lebro kataya mabrande miandoria masokataya mabrande oh father grant us a new heart a new understanding oh as we sit in your presence this morning may we receive from you this morning we give you praise. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We want to pray for our brothers and our sisters, those who are on their way coming, that the Lord will join us together. The Lord will quicken their feet, O oh Lord, so they will join us together. We will lift the name of our living God this morning in praise. Let's lift them up. And those who are to work, that they will hear the same word in the spirit. As because we are joined together in Christ. Those who are sick, we are praying that as they begin to hear the word of God, that the word will heal every disease in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. That the word of God will break every chain in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. That liberty will be their portion. Father, this morning... We we'll lift your people before your throne of this morning. We ask the Lord, or oh, wherever we may be, oh God, may your word come to fulfill the mission and the vision for which you have sent your word. May we have our liberty this morning, our freedom this morning. Oh, let your word this morning find a place in our heart this morning. As we hear your word, may there be new joy, new hope in Jesus' mighty name. May our lives be renewed in Jesus' mighty name. Masokataya mabrande. Miandoria masokataya mabrande. Even those who are sick, Lord, as they hear your word, let there be healing in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. In we give you praise, Lord. This morning, do as you please with us, Lord. We want to commit our very selves into the hands of God this morning. That we shall be a blessing to one another. Hallelujah. We shall be a blessing to one another. When you hear the word, we shall be a blessing to one another. We want to pray this morning that you will not be, you know, distraction, but you'll be a blessing to somebody this morning. Father, this morning we'll lift ourselves before your throne. I want to be a blessing unto someone this morning. The words of my mouth be a blessing, O oh God. Therefore, grant me the grace, O oh God. As I hear your word, may I be a blessing this morning. We thank you for what you are about to do with us this morning. We know that you are here. Therefore, Lord, with our open hearts, we have come to receive Fill us this morning. Fill us with the bread of life this morning. Almighty Father, we thank you for your presence. Amen. We thank you this morning because you are here. That is why we have come. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for the unity of the spirit. Let us experience you this morning as never before. In our worship, in our praises, in our giving unto you. And as we receive your word, let our lives be transformed. Let our understandings be open. And may we see and hear and feel your presence this morning. 
we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 It's time for, for praise and worship. And I ask that we, we give the Lord our all this morning. Even as we glorify his name through our songs. Amen. All the other gods, the other words of men. Ah, ah, ah. 
my body An empty grave is that you put Consent is
Lord, and declare and say, I come, I come, I come, Lord. Longing, desperate, Lord, to be. says nobody come into your presence and live the same oh lord lord we've come just as we are and we are asking oh god that we will, we will have an encounter with you this morning bless us oh god protect us oh lord we ask oh god that the remaining of the activity is in your hands like i said oh god do what you want to do in the midst of your people and at the end of this service glory Anna and adoration will be ascribed to you and you alone for you share your glory with, with no man Lord we want to thank you we exalt you and we call you God for everything that you do and you are about to do in our midst thank you O Lord in the name of Jesus Christ we pray and I long even as we take our seat to worship you yes I long Yes, I long to worship you. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. And all the time. Oh, let's give Jivak a big clap of hand. For what God is using them to do in the church of his people. Amen. This morning, we are glad to be in the sanctuary of the Lord. And those of us joining us online, today is God's day. And God has prepared a servant that is going to minister his word unto us. Hallelujah. And we all have our star and our way of cooking. Hallelujah. So please, today we have to change our diet. Amen. Oh, uh, who did the same food, baby? Ah, and yet, and call ye. I say, yes, same kakra. 
na ya de bibi fufuru what is here so i ya danya me ase amen so let's be on our feet as we welcome our own father all the way from new york to come and minister unto us in jesus name amen amen hallelujah Amen. I thank God for your life. And I once again welcome you to the presence of the Almighty God. And I know that your coming here today, it will be to his own glory and not unto man. Hallelujah. And this morning, I believe that God has a word for you. Wherever you are, hearing the sound of my voice, Anytime God speaks, it's not for someone around you, but it's for you. So it depends on how you receive the word and how you apply the word to your life or the situation that you find yourself in. That is how the word of God also manifests himself. So this morning, I believe that God brought us here together. That he will see us true. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, I prepare a message, but when I came, when Pastor came to the office, I said, God is the Holy Spirit also dropping something on my heart. And I asked him to give me a pen. And I just started writing some quotations. And I know that deep from the spirit, that is what the church of God needs. <laughs> Hallelujah. Brethren, because the time and the season that we are in. We need the light of God to lead us. Because each and every one of us is in darkness. And darkness, when I talk about darkness, it's not physical darkness. But we are in a spiritual darkness. And it takes only the light of God to shine in the midst of darkness. So my topic to you this morning is let your light shine in the mix of darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm happy to see some of you, your faces. It has been about a year. Hallelujah. My beloved sister, Auntie Gladys. Hallelujah. Amen. I was looking around for you last night, but they said you were making some dollars. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we have a word of prayer? Shall we close our eyes? You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh.
your name is i am that i am the beginning and the end yahweh is your name you are the alpha and the omega the beginning my lord when we begin with you we end it successfully for this cause this very hour and this very moment lord come and have your own way holy spirit take absolutely control over the heart of your people over the mind of your children and let your word be established my god in the midst of your people today that today we pray by the authority in your word that every kind of darkness in our life will disappear in the mighty name of jesus christ because you are the light we bless you and we thank you my god that let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto thee O lord and at the end of it all glory and honor will be given unto you alone thank you my lord for what you have done in jesus name and let the saints of god say amen put your hands together to the glory of the almighty god amen and you can take your seat amen hallelujah amen i know that god brought you here for a purpose amen and this morning i believe and i know deep in my spirit that god is going to transform your life hallelujah amen i said that topic of my message is let your light shine in the midst of darkness when we talk about darkness it is not ordinary darkness that the bible is referring us to by the kind of situation that is opposite to the will of god is our darkness and when I speak about darkness, anything that you don't have control over it is your darkness. Like when we talk about someone who is in prison, and we can also attribute this, that person is in captivity because he don't control himself. You don't eat the kind of food you have to eat. You don't sleep at the time you want to sleep. You don't go out at the time that you want to go out. But you are being controlled by authority. And so as a child of God, anything that is contrary to the word of God is being controlled by the devil. And that is the darkness that you are living in. But it takes only the hand of God to set you free. And before God will set you free, you have a part to play as a child of God hallelujah you cannot sit down with your arms beside you expect god to move in your life it cannot work because god works with principles and whatever the word of god has said god is bound when you act upon it he surely to perform it hallelujah amen so this morning i'm here to challenge your life that there is a way for you to come out of your darkness and the way to come out of your darkness is to stand up at wherever you are and move to the direction that god has set for you hallelujah amen praise the lord so there are certain kind of words in the bible that needs action if you don't take action about the word of god you remain the same hallelujah praise the lord that is why when you read the book of isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 it's a common common verse that we all know isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 the bible says arise and shine for thy light has come and the glory of the lord is revealed in you hallelujah Praise the Lord. Arise, shine, for thy light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Praise the Lord. 
This is an action word. It's a command word. And before your light will shine, you need to arise. Hallelujah. So there are certain words in the word of God that we need to take action. Praise the Lord. It's a command that if you don't obey the command, you will not experience the power of God in your life. Amen. This morning, let me set an example. Dickness Jemama, come. Hallelujah. Amen. Why is she is here? Because there is a command in the way that she has to come and she make the steps. Dickness Jemama, go. Hallelujah. It's a command. Because there are certain things that you have to pay attention to what the word of God is saying. So if the word of God tells her to come and she is still sitting down, God will not visit her. Oh. Hallelujah. So the word of God says unto you, arise. Wherever you are, you need to arise. Brethren, some of us, we have been in that situation for years and we still remain in it. But this is your day. This is your time. This is your season. That God is commanding you to arise up of the situation that you find yourself. Because your light has come. Which is God himself is about to visit you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So he said arise. Brother we need to arise out of our sleep. The challenges that we are facing in life. This is the time for us to say to the challenges that we are going to arise. Praise the Lord. So before you shine, there is something that you need to do. That is to come out of whatever you are going through. And today, I pray by the authority in the way that every form of darkness that you see yourself in it can be marital darkness it can be financial darkness it can be health issue it can be any problem that you are going through that is not of god today we are going to arise in the midst of that darkness and our light is about to shine because god is on our side praise the lord hallelujah the answer to our solution is to be obedient to the word of God. It is not different from coming to church to hear the word. And also acting upon the word. Amen. So today I challenge you that open your ears and listen to what God has for you. Arise, shine. Because God has already made the provision. He said why? For your light has come. Brother, God is beside you. God is around you. In the midst of your darkness, God is there to show the light so that your darkness will disappear. Because you have sat in that darkness for years. In the midst of this pandemic, it's our darkness. But as a child of God, we need to arise out of it. And as you arise out of it, pandemic or coronavirus will not have dominion over you. Somebody will be, at, uh, will be affected, but you will go to the same place and you will come back free. Why? Because the power of God is around you. God is surrounding you with his hand. The righteousness of God is upon you. And he said, when you arise out of your situation, the next thing for God to do, he will shine in your life. May the light of God shine upon you. May the power of God be manifest upon you. May the grace of God be sufficient unto you. As you begin to obey the voice of God. Hallelujah. For the light is come. Your light has come. Your moment has come. Your season has come. This is the time for you. To allow darkness to disappear. Hallelujah. Because when the light is not yet available. Darkness will always take dominion. When you read from the beginning of the Bible, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
And darkness has covered the face of the earth. And the spirit of God moved. And God commanded and said, let there be light. And light appeared. Immediately the light appeared, darkness disappeared. Hallelujah. And God divided the light and the darkness. And today I declare, may the Lord divide the light that he has sent unto you. That any form of darkness that you find yourself will disappear from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm here to encourage you that you need to rise up. For the glory of God is about to be revealed upon you. What is the glory of God? That is the power of God. What is the glory of God? That is the favor of God. What is the glory of God? That is the blessings of God. What is the glory of God? That is the breakthrough of God. When the glory of God comes upon you, the devil has no dominion over you. Because no one can stand before the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. So this morning, my brother and my sister, it's never too late. That's the reason why God brought you here. That's the reason why you are hearing my voice whenever you are watching me. Because God is about to visit you in a different way. God is about to visit you in a special way. But before God comes into your life, he needs you to stand up. He needs you to arise out of wherever you are. And just give unto him and say, God, I surrender unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Verse 2. Gross darkness, the people... But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Hallelujah. Amen. Surely darkness will appear. Surely darkness will cover some people. But today, your life is exempted. But today, my Lord, you. Hallelujah. In the form of darkness that the devil has sent to this world, I stand as a servant of God and by the anointing of God upon my life, I declare over you that today that sort of darkness is no part of you. May the hand of the Lord be with you and may the Lord deliver you out of any darkness. I command every sickness in your life to disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. You who the people see you and they mock at you, they see you and they thought that you are good for nothing today the glory of the lord is about to lift up your head and they will see you and bind their heads hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah he said arise and shine because the visitation of god has come the visitation of god has come and when god visits you nothing will stop you Hallelujah. I always tell people that life is not challenge. It's not competition. Amen. The reason why many of us fail is that when we see somebody going ahead of us, we want to also to get there at the same time. God has time for each and every one of us. When your time has not come, don't struggle. Just depend on him. Wait on God. Because he says in all in in, in his own time, he will make all things beautiful. My brother, Pastor uh, 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 Gideon, God has a time for you. And so far as God has placed you here, I speak into your life today that God has a purpose to bring you to this Chicago. And the Lord has a word unto your life. And today as you stand as a servant of God, a time is coming that your name will be heard afar. Your name will be seen afar. Because when God comes and his light comes upon you, no darkness will cover you. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I am charged. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't care what the devil will do. What matters is what God will do. Are you understanding me? The devil will say yes, but God will say no. The devil will say yes, but God will say no. Today, in the voice, whatever is coming from, that they have said yes about you, I declare over your life, but may the worst voice of God say no to the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. 
I see the hand of God in this room. Because you have been there for years. Brethren, there has come a time that we need to just be sensitive to the word of God. Because God has made a provision for you already. And if God says arise, and you are still sitting down, God will never have sympathy on you. Many of us in our situation, we have cried and cried and cried for years. We think that God will move. God will not move in your crying. But what God will move is, he say arise. Just arise in your prayer and call upon him and he will answer you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Darkness is not part of what. Listen to me. This is the time that God is about to visit you. Hallelujah. The time is now. The time is now. This is, the, this is a message that people have been preaching, have been preaching. But today, I want you to take it to another level. Are you understanding me? Can you put, give to me Psalm 102, verse 13? Psalm 102, verse 13. It's something that, I mean, it's, it's, it baffled my mind. Because God will not sit down that his children will destroy, it will be destroyed. He said, Thou shalt rise and have mercy upon Zion. Thou shalt rise and have mercy upon Zion. Say, God has mercy upon me. Hallelujah. You are the Zion. He said, For the time to favor her, yea, the set time has come. This is your time. This is your moment. This is your hour. I want you to understand that God has come to favor you. God has come to take you through. And brethren, any time the favor of God comes, struggle cease. Because favor will take you to where you cannot reach. Favor will allow people to visit you and give unto you what you don't deserve. Favor will connect you to the right people and not to the wrong people. Favor will direct your steps and you will not hit your foot against any stone. Favor will be in the hand of God that will hold you and lead you and direct you. And this time God is saying, the time for God to favor you has come. And this is the time. Why don't you allow God to move in your life? Praise the Lord. Arise and shine for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is upon you. He has already made it already. But this is the time for you to arise. Many of us, darkness has covered us. Darkness is tormenting us. And darkness has dominion over our life. But my brother and my sister, God has not called you to disgrace you. But he has called you to cry you and to grace you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So he said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy in Zion. May the mercy of God be my portion. Hallelujah. Because when the mercies of God come upon you, no one can, can put you into prison. No one can judge you. Hallelujah. Because the, the mercy of God will stand when they all say you are guilty and God says you are free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And he said, that time to favor has come. And this is the time that you and I need the favor of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to me. When favor comes upon you, it opens doors that people cannot open. Amen. And I'm here to encourage you this very morning. That never give up in life. If you are a child of God, always let your faith be in him. Because when you keep on trusting the Lord, as I said, your time is not today. Your time may be tomorrow. So if I'm here today, tomorrow you can also be there. So why do we envy someone? Why do we, do, do we gossip about someone? Why we want to be in the shoes of someone? My brother and my sister, I said, they will lay mu. Hallelujah. When you are in your lane, God will direct you. Are you understanding me? Put your hands together to the glory of the almighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. I pray that may the mercies of God be our portion. It doesn't matter how people see you. It doesn't matter how people look at you. 
It doesn't matter how people knew you yesterday. They saw you yesterday, but they don't know what, how you are going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow, the promotion of God is coming upon your life. Tomorrow, the uplifting of God is coming upon your life. Tomorrow, you are going to see the glory of God upon your life. Why? Because the message of God has covered any wrong thing that you are doing. And God has granted you grace. And may the grace of God be sufficient upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Before you can move in life, brethren, you cannot sit down and expect God to do all. He's all in all. He can do it. But God expects expect you also to take action. Amen. And there are so many things in the Bible, there are so many people in the Bible that when we follow their footsteps, brethren, it will also encourage us. And what they did, and God opened doors for them, we can also do it, and God will open the door for us. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm just, I don't want to, you to go, I don't want to go deep into the world, but just words that you know, message that you have heard, and I'm here to remind you that the same word are still the same. Because we are serving a God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changed. If he has done it to Pastor Agu, if he has done it to Dickness Jimama, if he has done it to Dickness Gladys, the Lord will also do it for you. So you are not behind the line. You are not behind the line. God is preparing you for greater works ahead of you. Hallelujah. Amen. We all know the life of uh, Jabesh. What happened to him? Hallelujah. Jabez saw himself in darkness. And the Bible says, Jabez said, I cannot remain in this situation for the rest of my life. Brethren, I speak into your life. Never remain in that awkward situation. Just arise out of it. Just call upon the Lord. And the Lord will hear you. Amen. So if God hear the voice of Jabesh and they grant him his request, the Lord will also will grant you your request. And all that you need is to arise. Jabesh arise in prayer and he came before the Lord. If your prayer life is down, may the revival of God come upon you. May the zeal of prayer eat you up today. That's from today, your life will be on fire for the Lord because God wants to show you his glory. God wants to take you out of that darkness and give you the light. So shall we read the book of First Chronicles chapter 4? First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9. Hallelujah. Amen. What is Cynthia? All right. Because I'm looking around, I don't find her. Maybe I thought she's just enjoying herself. <laughs> and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Brethren, God has glorified his name in your life more than anyone. You are unique among all your brethren. You are special among your people. But until you recognize it and see what God has made for you and you don't allow God to expand your life, you will still remain the same. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Hallelujah. You may, you may be small today, but you can be big tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. You can begin in a small way, but God can turn that small way to be a big way. So don't, don't look down upon yourself. Let people speak about you. It doesn't matter. So far as you are a human being, people will talk about you. Whether you like it or not, they will talk about you. Listen, if you are rich, they will speak about you. If you are poor, they will speak about you. If you are healthy, they will speak about you. If you are sickler, they will speak about you. I don't care what man will say. What I care is what about God will say. That is why this morning we sing. We don't care about what we see. I don't care about what I hear. I don't care about what I move. But the only thing that I care about is by the word of the Lord. Brother, what the word of God says concerning your life. Life, that matters not what man says not what man says man will say you can't make it but God says you can do it hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah brethren I said I came here today because of you 
Not the one sitting by you, but you yourself. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, and his mother called his name Jabesh. Why? Because I bear him with sorrow. So the situation that this boy found himself in is not about him. But it was something that was placed on him. Mothers, we have to be very careful. It was something that his mother put him through. And because of that, this boy began to see signs in his life that things are not working well with him because that is not, not how God made him to be. Hallelujah. Give me the verse 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. But then when it's time or you find yourself in difficulties, don't call on man. Call or call upon God. We depend on men too much. Many of us, pray for me is over. You can pray for yourself. You have a voice. You are a child of God. God can hear your voice. It's not every day that you have to call for pray for me. Listen, pastor can pray for you. It is not wrong. But sometimes you need to do it yourself. Hallelujah. We are human beings. Sometimes we can also go astray. We can say what we have not seen. Why? Because we want to please men. Look at what happened in this uh, uh, November election. Prophet upon prophet, they prophesy that Trump is going to win. And at the time that the election was read, Trump lost. But at the same time, they are prophets. Some also were saying the movie is not over yet. Hallelujah. Brethren, you can do it yourself. Go to your closet. Go to your chambers. And call upon God. And the Bible says, And Jabesh called upon the God of Israel. Because he saw that his help would not come from man. His help will not come from his pastor. His help will not come from his parents. The help will come from God. That is why David stood up and said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hill. Where comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who makes the heaven and the earth. Man will help you, but man will disappoint you. The help of man is useless. I will tell you the truth. I help you today, so tomorrow you also have to help me. God is not a man that he will lie. Neither the son of man that will repent. Has he said he will do it for you and he has not done it? All that God is expecting from you is come to him. Call upon him. Hallelujah. And he will answer you. Amen. Most of us, as we are sitting down here today, or hearing my voice, that is the end for the week. The only time we'll come before God is another Sunday. May God have mercy upon us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Jabez prays, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. Jabez know what he was asking. He was specific, specific of what he is asking. And enlarge my coat. And that thy hand must be with me. I speak over your life. May the hand of the Lord be with you. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. May the eyes of the Lord be opened upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You who hear the sound of my voice. Wherever you are. May the hand of the Lord be your protection. Be your shade. Be your buckler. Be your preservation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And that thou wouldest keep me from evil. In our 21st century, we don't fear evil again. Evil has been part of us. We enjoy evil more than the righteousness of God. We do our own thing than the things of God. But Jabez' prayer is that God deliver me from evil. Because when God bless you, he don't expect you to remain in that situation. Hallelujah. Amen. 
And that if it may not grieve me, and God granted him that which he requested. Praise the Lord. That means God answer his prayer. May your prayers be answered by God. May the God visit you in your darkness. And today, as I speak over you, if God did it for Javesh, the Lord will also do it for you. May your coat be enlarged. May the hand of the Lord be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And God granted him his request. God is our father. Whatever we ask, according to the will of God, he will surely do it. Amen. Hallelujah. So, brethren, it is never too late, as I said from the beginning. Because the Bible says a day is like a thousand years before God. And thousand years is like a day. So, listen, if God bless you today, it changes every circumstances around you. It doesn't matter that people are enjoying life and maybe you are struggling. Your struggle can be over right now. If only you put your trust in him. Hallelujah. I'm just here to encourage you that it is never too late. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And if God grants him his request, God will also grant you your request. Hallelujah. And what we need to do is we need to surrender and allow Jesus to reign in our heart. His light overcome all darkness. Because you can't do it on your own. You can't make it on your own. But then don't depend on yourself. Depend upon the word and the power of God. So allow Jesus Christ to be the Lord over your life. And to reign over your life. Surrender every situation to his hands. He's able. He's able. I said he's able. To do all things. Hallelujah. There is nothing that he cannot do. Amen? Amen. So me, I don't, I don't care about what people are doing. I care about what God is doing in my life. Amen? Because I always tell my people that, listen to me, God has made me special. And what I can do, you cannot do it. Are you understand? You can try all your best, you can't do it. But, and what you can do, I cannot do it. Amen? So if you, we see ourselves in this arena, we can all work together to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the eyes has a duty to play. The feet has a duty to play. So the eyes cannot say I'm more important than the feet. That we can just have something outside. The eyes will be looking at it, but he cannot get there until the feet begin to walk. Hallelujah. So brethren, we are all special and we are all unique. In the sight of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's read the book of John chapter 1. John chapter 1 verse 4 and 5. John chapter 1 verse 4 and 5. I'm walking with time because I've already been warned. And I don't want to disobey. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said in him was life. And the life was the light of men. Are you understanding me? So if the light of God is your light, then how can darkness have dominion over you? So today, I'm here to preach to you that no darkness can take over your life. Amen. They have been there for years, but today, God is saying, we are rising up and we are going to shine. And Jesus Christ is the light. So if we surrender unto him, if we leave it into his hands and allow him to take control of us, then his light will appear. Amen? Hallelujah. And the light was the light of men. May God give you life. When you have the life of God, you have the light of God. Hallelujah. So today, God, Christ has come to show himself to you that I am the light of the world and may you come unto me that I will declare Darkness no more in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And, it's, and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehend it not. 
Immediately the light appears. Darkness cannot stand. Right now as we are sitting here, sitting down here, I can see all of you, your faces. But if we turn off the light, this place will be total chaos. In total chaos. Hallelujah. Immediately they turn the light, the light, the darkness has to disappear. So God's word is the light. Let the word of God abide in you. And you abide in him. And he said, whatsoever you ask, it shall be given unto you. Praise the Lord. So we need to arise in the word of God. Let's give ourselves to the word. Let allow the word to dominate our lives. Let allow the word to control our lives. Many a times we hear the voice of God and we ignore it. And that is what will lead you to destruction. But today, God is saying to you, I love you so much. Come back unto me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The time is fast spent. This is the time for us to come out from darkness. Because our light has come. Our light has come. Our time has come. Amen. There are greater works ahead of us. And this is the time that God has just begun. This coronavirus that came, the devil thought that he's going to close the churches. But he don't know that right now, the gospel is being preached everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. There are many that even, they have not heard of Christ Pentecostal Church Chicago before. But they can click and they just come up and see the church preaching. And they will begin to give their life to the Lord. So they thought that they can destroy. But right now God is glorifying his name to expand his kingdom. Hallelujah. So nothing that the devil does that will just press God down. God will make a way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And let's go to the book of Psalm 27, verse 4. And I end my message to give the rest to our pastor because he said by 12 o'clock we have to leave. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. One thing I have by desire of the Lord that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life and behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Hallelujah. One thing that you must desire that you will always be in the presence of God. David said, this is what is upon my heart. I will never do it without him. I will not do anything outside God. But one thing that I have put in my heart that I will desire of the Lord. I will inquire of the Lord. Many of us, we are doing certain business and certain things that we don't, we don't inquire from the Lord whether it's coming from God. Seek the face of God. Seek the direction of God. When your marriage is collapsing, listen to me, it's just collapsing. But when you seek the face of God, God will fix it up. Your business is not going on well. Yes, it is not going on well. Seek the face of God and God will put it right. Hallelujah. Your career is not well being established. Seek the face of God and God will direct you. So David said, one thing that I have desire of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And to seek after it. Don't seek after men. Don't seek after your own. Seek after the things of God. When you seek after the things of God, you see, he said, they that seek him will find him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And when you seek God, God will attach whatever he has for your life and give it unto you. Amen. And he said, all the days of my life, I will not do anything outside God. I will always be in the presence of the almighty God. I hope that the Spirit of God is speaking to you right now. That you change your mind and change your attitude and come unto him. He said, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. 
Amen. Many are afraid of the house of God. Because when they come to the house of God, they will catch coronavirus. But they don't know that in the house of God, we are abiding by the CDC regulations. Amen. You go to the stores and you see people just crowded, but they don't care. But when they come to the house of God, coronavirus is here. Listen to me. If you are hearing my voice, coronavirus is outside. It's not in the house of God. Come to the temple of God and you'll be secured. Come to the temple of God. You'll be protected. Come to the temple of God and you'll be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't be afraid of what people are saying. Just trust the word of God. Hallelujah. And he said, I will inquire in the temple of the Lord. That means I will seek the direction of God. May the Lord help us. And may the Lord grant us the grace. That from today, may the Lord turn our life around. And he said he will turn our mourning to dancing. May the dancing of the Lord be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I speak over your life, whatever you are. If you can stand with me at this very moment. We are just going to lift up our voice unto God. And we are going to pray. I don't know the sort of darkness or any kind of darkness that you go through. But then people are rejecting you and people are saying all sorts of things about you. But this is the time for you to speak to God. As I said, Jabesh prayed and God granted him his request. So this is the time that we are also going to call upon God. We are going to seek the face of God. For God to hear our voice and to grant us our requests. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Shall we close our eyes? When peace like a river ten then on my way when sorrows like rose rose water
Father, your children are standing before you, Lord. By the word unto us today that we need to arise. For you have prepared our light to shine in the midst of our darkness. As we are about to open our mouth, my God, and cry unto you, Lord. You know us more than we know ourselves. So any kind of darkness today, may your light, my God, come upon us. That our darkness will disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, hear the cry of your children. Father, hear the prayer of your children. Father, hear the petition of your children. As we come unto you to seek you, Lord, open your mouth and begin to pray wherever you are. I want to hear you praying unto the Lord right now. The Lord has come and to set you free. The Lord has come and to cause you to walk in this light. In the name of Jesus. 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 Father, Lord, you pray this day. That let it be according to your word. That Lord, you declare darkness out. Darkness out. Darkness out. Or Rabba Kapalo. In the Arababa. Wherever you are, Israel. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. And pray. In the name of Jesus. Those watching us on Facebook, uh, those watching us uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, I pray that may the hand of the Lord uh, be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Spirit of God is moving in the midst of His people. Just lift up your hands, lift up your hands wherever you are. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. And as I pray with you, that the Lord will change your destiny. Wherever you are watching us from, just tune your faith with us and lift up your hands wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power and authority in the word of God, I declare and decree that may the word of God be established upon your life. May the word of God take you out of darkness and may the light of God shine upon you. What darkness do you have? In the darkness of sickness, I command that sickness out in the name of Jesus Christ. You who cannot progress in life, I command that, that spirit to leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that may the Lord open every door. In the door that has been closed, I command that door be opened in Jesus' name. May the liberty of God be your portion. And may the hand of God rest upon you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the glory. Receive the power. Receive the healing. Receive the anointing. Receive the presence of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. For I bless your name. And I thank you, my God, that you have done it. Because you are faithful unto your word. May your name be praised. And may you be glorified in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. And let the people of God shout a big amen and put your hands together to the glory of the Lord. Amen.
Almighty. The Lord is healing somebody this morning. Somebody, the Lord is healing you. I say, receive your healing this morning. The healing on the wings of the Lord this morning, receive your healing. In Jesus' name. In this vein, we want to pray for one of our brothers, Mr. Edu Daku. We want to pray for him seriously right now. Jesus. That the healing of God will visit him wherever place he is. Somebody lift up your voice together with me. Let's pray for him. Let's pray for him. That whatever place he is right now, may God heal him. We want to pray that God will heal him. That God will heal him. God will heal him. Let every power of sickness break loose over his life in Jesus' name. We speak life into him now. We declare healing for him. May your angels stretch now and heal them. For the sun of your healing power into his life. From the crowns of his head to the soul of his feet, oh Lord. We want to pray, let me heal him. Let me heal him. We want to pray for our sister Abelta. We want to pray for him. That God will minister total healing to her in Jesus' name. We want to pray for sister Abelta. We want to pray. That God will minister total healing to her in Jesus' mighty name. She's watching us now. We want to pray that the Lord will heal her. Kapalosti, Mekata, Berendosti, Malako, Rabeta, Kosti, Mala. Lord, heal. Heal your daughter now. Bring it to a perfect day. We call it down in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 We quickly want to take our offering, our tithe and our offering. We want to take it and pray. Those of you online, you want to sell your offering to CPS in Chicago at yahoo.com. And those of you here, you just want to grab an envelope and put your offering and your tithe in it and come and bless the Lord this morning that the work of God will continue Bible says I will build my church and the gate of hell will not prevail against it it's by your offering and your tithe and your altar offering that is what we are using to build the kingdom of God and cause the work of God to progress so you just want to take a seed you want to take your offering your tithe even as we pray Father in Jesus name Lord we thank you for everybody holding a seat. Those who have sent their, their tithe, their offering already, Lord. We pray that, Lord, even as we use it, O oh Lord, to further your work, O oh Lord, that your will will be done on earth, O oh Lord. Open doors for them. Bless them, O oh Lord. Like you have blessed your best, O oh Lord. And you have enlarged his coast, O oh Lord. And you have blessed him indeed, O oh Lord. And you deliver him from evil, O oh Lord. Let this be done in the life of your people. Bless them. And may they be blessed indeed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So we receive a song even as we give our offering.
something that makes me run into your presence, my helper. There is something that makes me walk into your presence. There is something that makes me dance into your presence. Oh, there is something that makes me walk into your presence. Because you are my hope. My hope. My hope. There is something that makes me dance into your presence. My Hapa, my Hapa. There is something that makes me want into your presence. My Oh, yeah, me no good, no parade for. Mommy, mommy, oh, this I declare. Oh, sir,
offering that we give God we have different forms of offering dancing is an offering smile is an offering clapping is an offering David give a dance offering unto the Lord and God when somebody talk about him, about him God shuts the person's womb Jeez. dancing is a powerful mystery in the in the in, in, in the so if you when God come on you to dance, please dance. Sometimes you go to a prayer room, there is nothing you do only to dance. Attend to there is not there is something you call tears offering. All you go to do is that you just cry and leave. That is your prayer. There are mysteries in the kingdom. So don't be only be giving money offering. Dance to hallelujah. And the Lord is good. Somebody give the Lord a club offering. A club offering. Give him a club offering. Have a lost Have a sorry to the a club offering this morning. And give him a sitting offering. Sit down. <laughs> give him a sitting offering. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Bible said Jesus is seated, right? I tell you, you have to sit down and give the Lord a sitting offering. Amen. Wow. Wow, we thank God for that powerful message. If I say Eyegbe Eye, say Eyegbe Eye Wa. Eyegbe Eye. Eyegbe Eye. Wow, that is how the message is. The message was Eyegbe Eye. Hallelujah. Shining in the midst of your darkness. You see, one thing you got to know is that when there is light, it does not mean that darkness is absent. Okay? The only thing is that the light has overpowered darkness. As this room we are now, darkness is still here. Oh. But the only thing is that dark, light has overpowered darkness. So when we say let your light shine, it does not mean that darkness will be away. But we are saying that let the God life in you overpowered the darkness that is around you. So darkness will still be around, but just let the light shine and it overpowered. If you have a light, just we off every light and we, we, we put a candle. That is how much brightness we will get. So let it so shine. So that we cannot even come and see any darkness around you. Amen. Amen. Oh, if you study physics, when it's dark, it's not that the, it's just that the part of the the earth that is turned to the sun, that is when the light comes. If you turn to the other side, that's why now it is bright here. Other places is dark because this side of the earth has turned. So the light, presence of the light, does not mean the absence of darkness. But when we shine, we shine very well. Let's clap for our daddy for blessing us. And I believe you have been blessed. This word is powerful. Tell somebody it's powerful. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I just feel like you have been taken to, you know, a place that they charge you. And so there are some charges, it charges faster. There are some other charges we take a days to charge. You can have some phone, you get some charger. It takes long for your phone to charge. But this one, we call it quick charger. This message is called a quick charger. It will charge you faster. Hallelujah. Is it an iPhone charger message? Ah, it, uh, I am charged. Amen. Oh, oh yeah, I am charged. It takes only 15 minutes for me to be charged. I don't know about you. Maybe you are so, your battery is so dead to the standards, you are so, me, I am full. 
Hallelujah. I am charged. Go and pray. Go and declare some prayers like Jabez did. He said that I will be blessed. We are not coming to preach. We have, we have closed. <laughs> Amen. Oh. Amen. I see many of you charged in this room. And that is powerful. We thank God for the anointing upon the life of our father. Let's clap for the anointing upon his life. Yeah. He come with a different dimension. We all have our limbs. Just be in your limb. And I, it will be fine with you. There is no need to jealous my limb. You have your lane. Just be in your lane. And don't be looking at my lane. And we all shall get there. So, and you will be very good. Hallelujah. Amen. Just be in your line. And when you are running a race and you move into somebody's track, you are out of the race. That's why they mark it. If you try and you're going to say, oh, this lane is faster, you are wrong. Even you can be the first because you are not in your lane. We are not preaching. We are closing. I want to take, <laughs> we are charged, right? <laughs> I want to take this opportunity and thank you all for coming to help us celebrate the life of my mother-in-law. I mean, we are so much blessed. Despite the coronavirus, people have defiled all out, and you have come. It's so much a blessing. And thousands, people, a lot of people join online. It's, it's powerful. Coronavirus has actually made the church to go live. And it's happened. Hallelujah. People are calling. Last, last time a lady called. He said, Pastor, I want to be I want to pay my tithe. I say, pay your tithe. What church do you go? He said, no. I have a church, but now I want to pay my tithe to your church. I said, please, go and pay to your church. He said, pastor, you don't know. I say, I want to pay. I said, okay, if you want to pay your tithe, then you have to join our online church. Oh. He said, I am ready to join. Send me the link. Yeah, you must be a member before we take your tithe, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, I told Dickness, Jim, uh, Dickness Nananda, please. Organize a send all the online platform. So far you cannot come, you can be online and then we can receive your tight. Isn't that good? People are chasing pastor for tight. And you, you are here. <laughs> people are chasing us. No. Oh yeah, people are chasing pastor. I want to give my tight to you. I say you must be a member before. So you who is a member. If you are not chasing me with your tight, then something bell look you. Something is hiding, is looking at you. <laughs> Amen. Oh. So we just want to thank God for all that. He said, at times the devil might think he's doing something. But the same thing that he's using against you. Bible said, the, the, the brothers of Joseph, they thought that they were selling this guy into slavery. But little did they know that they were putting him on a throne to become a prime minister. The very stone that the enemy will use to throw against you, God will turn that stone into a gold and you will sell it and you become a millionaire and the devil will still be there. That is the God who says, all things work together for good for them that love him, for them that are called according to his people. God can use anything, even your enemy, to bless you. I believe in it all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I believe that at times my enemies can bless me. After that, when you finish, you can continue to be enemies. But Uber will fulfill the purpose. You will bless me before you say, Is it good? I'll bless. Oh, you have done. I am gone. Blessings will not come back to you again. I have taken it. Amen. Oh. So please, don't be misery. Just trust in God. Like Pastor said, trust in him. He can use anything. Even your sickness, God can use it to glorify his name. Bible says a man, a guy was blind, and he said, was it? He said, No, God allowed this blindness so that his glory will be seen. That is your prayer. Let your glory be seen in this dark area of my life. In this difficult situation, let your glory be seen. That is it. Those times when we were young, be, when we were conning girls, I said, you, you see only one guy, you are thinking you have got it. 
have take me to and see. You will drop that guy. Amen. Oh. Yeah, you will drop that guy. Because me to have vibes. Amen. Oh. Yeah, you can't choose between one thing. Yeah, you are in the process of choosing, right? You are not be taken yet. Open your eyes, me to am around. Try me. And you will see. And I try one and I won. God is good, though. And <laughs> all the time. So God can do anything in your life. Don't just be focusing on the negativity of the enemy. In fact, this coronavirus, some people are being blessed. Who oh. the in a People are being blessed. You are only looking at and uh, Corona is going to kill. It, people are being blessed and people are living and they are blessed. Look at how people are being blessed and you to be blessed. By the time the coronavirus is over, you are a blessed child. Don't be looking at the negativity of coronavirus, but look at the positivity of it. Amen. People are giving birth. Coronavirus, people are giving birth. People are doing powerfully. Relationships is building strongly. Hallelujah. People are having time to rest. <laughs> Amen. So I thank God for your life. And laughing is a medicine. So I just want to make you laugh. Hallelujah. And we are so happy. Daddy, you know, you are not going now. You, still, you just have to stay around. Mommy is here. There is nothing to go and do in New York. <laughs> New York, Donald Trump says it's a ghost town. <laughs> this is where the life is. Life is in Chicago. <laughs> you have come to the city of Lincoln. So just stay here. That place, yeah, is a ghost town now. <laughs> Said by your president. <laughs> so thank God you have come to where the livings are. <laughs> so you better stay around. Enjoy the Chicago. Man. That's why he's charged. You see, when he came to Chicago, he just charged. <laughs> Amen. Oh. When he came from New York, he asked a message. But as he entered the building, Holy Ghost said, No, this is a charge environment. Change the message for the people here. I charge. That's why I said, This is a Holy Ghost headquarters. So you can come from Ghost Town, but they tell you enter Holy Ghost Town. Ah, fire will charge you, Daddy. You have made a mistake. <laughs> oh, God is good. Oh, God is good. Oh, come on. So, <laughs> oh, in fact, it's true. Because he came from Ghost Town. <laughs> and he brought message from Ghost Town. He entered into the Holy Ghost circle and said, No, sister, change that message. This one, you don't take it to where the living are. Holy Ghost has 